Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every hello sense of the word. The sun is out, the football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. This, of course, the fixture to which we've been looking forward so very, very much and for so very, very long. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch is pristine, the crowd basking in the sun, smiles on faces, a really good omen for the game, we hope. The pre-match build-up has been fantastic. Now, the game itself. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this. A capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive match-up, and... And Rafael Leal! Now, that is commitment to the cause. And we have our very first corner. That's a decent clearance. And now a sudden chance to counter. Oh, he's burst through. Bruno Fernandes. Out to the left it goes. This is actually quite a courageous move, and I lad ambitious and adventurous too. Joao Palinha. Ruben Dias. Over to the left. Rafael Leal. Hits one! Same again, same outcome. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter, and while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo, Bruno for decent hit! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Bruno Fernandes really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Portugal, corner number two then. And out to safety. Argentina can start a counter here. Now it's Messi. Fiddles it through. Oh, he's through the middle. He's found a way through. There's the shot! Some terrific running on the ball there. Those efforts are not going unappreciated. And there's his chance to lead the counter. Shifted upfield. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. De Paul. Now it's Martinez. Now it's McAllister. Pepe cuts it out. Now it's Rafael Leao. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Montiel. There's a counter-attack chance here for Argentina. Messi. Oh, well played, well played. Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Rafael Leal. Yeah, this kind of bold running will always get you into areas of possibility. He's had a shot! That's just playing it safe and simple. João Palinha. Oh, it's a promising build-up, there's plenty of really nice passing. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Portugal, after 33 minutes, is number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo!
Portugal draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been picked out. Bernardo Silva. Nice ball. He's had a hit. He scores. And they're at it again in double quick time. He knows it's taken a big and very kind deflection, but he is claiming it nonetheless. The goal score for Portugal after 36 minutes is number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Ottavio, and it's Cristiano Ronaldo coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Now it's Messi, looks to clip it forward. João Cancelo, Nuno Mendes, Ottavio. Nice bit of trickery. In by Ottavio. Big chance! It's off target and by quite a way. Now it's Messi. And he's found a way past. Two added minutes has been indicated. He's found a way through, shapes to shoot! And that would have been some goal. And that has to go down as a real opportunity missed. Everything was right until the end. Joao Palinha. And it's Bernardo Silva. To Cancelo. He's going for goal! And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence a change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Portugal in control at half-time, 2-0. Everyone, please welcome to the field our players! And we're underway again. Played out to the left flank. He is through here. And that's aimed into the middle. Ottavio. Joao Palinha. To Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. Played towards the other side. Here's Rafael Leao. Romero gets across to intercept that. De Paul spread out to the left. De Paul. Oh, he's bustling through. Him. Can he finish? A potential goal of the season contender, if only. Messi certainly had a very good sight of goal, and he would have fancied a better outcome then.
Laid back in. He's a sharp little ball here. Ottavio played out to the left flank. Sends it forward. That's a nicely measured pass. It looked as though that might lead to something quite promising, but it turned out that that was not the case. Messi, there he goes, motoring forward. Trao Palinha. Out to the left it goes. Gets his pass away. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that's nice. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, right place, right time. The oh, the determined running there, but not back by the defence. Well, I appreciate the fact he's trying to make a difference, and if he carries on like that, he may well do. Has a goal! Well, that... And in again! It's in! Some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. The goal scorer for Argentina, after 63 minutes, is number 11, Di Maria. Argentina get themselves back into contention. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. And it's Bernardo Silva. Yeah, we get to see this more and more. Defenders popping up in these positions. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. That is a really good chance, Miss Peter. Certainly the way he's been playing. De Paul. Messi. Oh, that was no routine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Martinez. He's looking to set free a run. Now the finish! Well, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better chance than that, Peter. That is disappointing. Substitution in progress. Time then for the first substitution of the game. And once more, he proves rigid and robust. Now then, the ball's come loose. Montiel, just like so many of his contemporaries, is proving very good at driving forward. Messi threads one in, and that is expertly dealt with. Argentina really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. Well, they could break here. Looking for the runner. Oh, save! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. The goal scorer for Argentina after 79 minutes is number seven, Rodrigo de Paul. Argentina making another change here. Dybala getting the call here in what can be interpreted as a clear show of intent. Well, this could lead to the injection of energy that might disrupt the rhythm of their opponents. This has become one superb game of football. Argentina surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Rafael Leao. Oh, good spread. Bernardo Silva battling down that right flank. Octavio. Oh, 
shooting chance! It's run loose, who's going to get there? Nuno Mendes with the cross. Otamendi is there, and he can get that clear. There's the crossfield ball. Now it's Bernardo Silva. There's the hit! Now, who's going to be first to this? Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Has a shot! Keeper pulls up a fine save. Bruno Fernandes is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Ball shows there will be three extra minutes. Now it's Rafael Leal. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, just skips past his man. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, nobody is totally satisfied, but it was a, a more than decent game, a super watch, and it ends in a draw. And notably, neither side incurred a booking today, and that doesn't happen very often these days. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Portugal certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us. And we'd like to inform you now that the latest travel information is currently...